Welcome to Nerdy Four, the podcast where I, Amy Brown, ask fun and interesting people what were they're nerdy for. Before we get started with my cool guest who's sitting right next to me, I want to show everybody my new merch. I have new merch. It's a t-shirt that's a fitted t-shirt for ladies, and it says, indoor wife, because that's what I am. My husband rescued me, and then he tried to take me on all these crazy vacations, and I'm like, listen, I'm an indoor wife. That's all you need. I thought I don't want to go anywhere. It's no. fine. So I have these on my website, um, and I'm also going to try to travel with them. Um, if you're listening, it's a black T-shirt, and it has white writing and mountains on it. And thank you for the people who put that together for it's me. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, y'all. So I brought my friend Monica in. Hello. Your, do you have like a work name and like a married name, or do you have the same one? I'm the same one. It's Monica Sears Olson. So I took my maiden name, which was Sears, and put it in my middle wow. name, and I got rid of my middle name, which I did not like. Is it like Sears and Roebuck? No. Everybody asked me that growing up. It was not tragically. I just saw a, a documentary about that company. Was it good or bad? The the one of the guys who took it over was amazing. Oh. He spent all this money on philanthropy and lovely. Um, yeah, it's really cool. No, Anywho, how? no relation. I brought Monica on because um, I know it's halfway through the year, but... Um, halfway through the year? It's halfway through the school year. Oh. We had to bring... Oh. I thought you meant 2024. I was like, I don't know what you've been yeah. drinking, but I am still I in January. I know. It's the be- <laughs> I'm still in calendar. I'm, I have never graduated beyond okay. school calendars okay. because I was never in the working world long enough to do it. <laughs> and then I had children, and so we're getting, we're getting okay. on like a school calendar. But we both took um, our first born to college this year and I got a text from you and you said I'm in the bathtub with all my clothes on and I'm eating pimento cheese and you I think you were drinking <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me but I yes, was, it was no it was it yes I, I could have been eating pimento cheese yeah. in the bathtub you, you were for, in the bathtub but I will say if I drank too much possibly you said but I was, will s- go ahead oh yeah so that when he drove off so but let's step back for a minute because yeah. both of our boys went to school together they went to high school together right so we've known each other since we were at middle school right for a long so we time. sort of knew they were going mm-hmm. together at the same time but anyway yeah so my husband took him off drove him up to college in uh, massachusetts and as they pulled away i was kind of like oh, this is gonna be great it's like a whole new An life adventure. i'm gonna have all free time how it's gonna exciting be wonderful. i'm just gonna pop upstairs and go like check on his room just to make sure it's like you know organized <laughs> and i went up there and I just stood there, and I just started ugly crying. Ugly crying. And, like, curled yeah. up in this, like, big chair yeah. that he has and basically ugly cried for the rest of the day. Yeah. Until yeah. I pulled myself together, and then I cleaned the room top to bottom and found so much dust and so many gross things. I wasn't ready for the, po- like, <sighs> the post-mortem uh, it cleaning. It was, like, morning. Yes. It was, like, being in mourning. So I was... I was sucker punched. This is, I want this to be like a survival guide for uh, folks with children that are going to, I was, I did not know to expect this, that when I, I'm going to start to cry, when I went to like hug and kiss him in the dorm and then I stepped out of his dorm, it felt like I was going to throw up. Yeah. I I felt like when we put our dog down, I felt um, like he was in danger and then my someone told me that was a panic attack. <laughs> I didn't know that's what they were feeling yeah. like. And I, we went to a friend's house on the way to the airport, and I just poured myself a glass of whiskey, which is not the healthy way to handle anything. No, it's not. Um, and then we dropped. I just dropped him off again for the second semester, and it happened again. I was yeah. like, I've been through it this time already once. I stopped like stalking him on my phone on the maps app like where the heck is he oh, i was I checking did that on for him weeks like weeks. every half an hour like yes. the first couple days i was like days. is he alive is he fine is he dead is in he the, the snow is there's he no snow is oh, he at the cafeteria yeah, where is, is he, he at a is date he is he yeah. at a bar what's happening what's happening is he at the library <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> it's <just> obsessive <laughs> yep and, like, did, it, did it all it's i think there's part of our brain like the lizard part of our brain feels like when we're dropping them off like immediately he's going to get eaten by a, a triceratops or something. Yeah, something. <laughs> they weren't around during Some the people out time. Of state it's thing. Not out of state. <laughs> Non-Georgian. Oh my god, a saber-toothed tiger. Yes, I'm pretty sure they a have bear, those. a black bear. Yeah, well, they have those here, but they <laughs> saber-toothed tigers are, I'm sure, in DC. Definitely in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts too. So yeah, that I did not know how to ex- like get ready for that, and I mm-hmm. I was get I was telling myself to get ready for the year, like get ready. Um, it's going to be a big feeling. Get ready for it. Wrap mm-hmm. your brain around mm-hmm. it. There's. I read a book about the psychology of mourning. Okay. And 
is they did brain scans. Mm -hmm. And literally your brain has to rewire when someone passes away that they're no longer in whatever town that you or house that you thought they were in. And that's every time you go, oh, they're in Massachusetts. But no, they're not. They're not th- like, oh, my son's upstairs in his room. Oh, wait, nope. he's not. Mm-mm. He's not. Uh, he's in a different state. Or so you, you it's the pain is re- re- repeatedly getting reminded that that person is not there. And when they're dead, that's nebulous for a lot of our brains. Right. And so we don't know where that is. And that's the mourning process. But did you feel like. Is this a fun one? Is this a fun to- episode? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> we're drinking champagne. Sorry, we're going to have a we're, little toast. Let's to, have a little to, cheers. To, that they made it. That they, they, they got it. into college. They made it. They're, this is what they're How's supposed Cooper to do. doing? Is he getting some good it's not even. Yes, he's doing okay, great. See, it's, Anders is doing wonderful. It's not even like they went to war. Like, that's an option. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm. Or prison. Remember when they were 18 and they had to sign up for that thing? Yeah. The, they um, had to sign up the for draft. the draft. Secret service. Secret service. Se- selective service. Selective service. Yeah, yeah. He had to for the draft. That's terrible. It was so frightening. And I, I think I realize why the Secret Service has a lot of males in it because my boys don't tell me anything. No, nothing. I don't know anything. But so when you were, or I know when I was ugly crying in the chair, I was like, why am I so upset? The kid is alive. He's thriving. He's yeah. going off to have this venture. And you know what I decided? What? That I was mourning his youth, which meant I was mourning my youth. Oh, yeah. So then yeah. that became a whole ordering process of many creams, <laughs> many things that I felt like I had to, like, make up for. Yes. So I feel like I'm in a um, – um, I don't – it's, like, not really a midlife crisis. It's, like, a it, it, college-bound crisis. It's not an empty nest. It's, well, it's time to focus on our, our, our health. I definitely <laughs> – on my face, a lot of creams. Right, I'm, I have a meeting with the dermatologist. Do, do I think you? I might get it oh. late. Uh, people get them lasered off. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Have, you, have you gotten like the like the, you la- know the, the big moxie? laser? There's like I've been, had a discussion about like black brown spots. Yeah, zip 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 zip. Yeah, I'm I thinking, haven't done it yet. I've been doing a lot of retinol. I haven't done anything yet, and I'm I'm on the same board. Okay, I just, yeah. I, emailed I haven't done any of the other things, but I'm all about. Like, I haven't done anything. I'm gonna jump straight to lasers. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Seriously. They're the best. You're supposed, supposed to laser to your face off twice a year. Yeah. is what I'm told. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We're gonna work through that's that. The, yeah, that's how they did it back in the day. I'm I a did. little, I'm a yeah. little pussy though. I can't handle any pain. Mm. So I'm gonna. What's the pain level of laser in your face? I oh, think no. it hurts a lot. Is I had it? laser hair removal, and I the didn't nurse, do that. I heard that's supposed to be really bad. The nurse just kept rolling her eyes at me because I was such a baby about it. But can't they get, like numb it? It's kind of nummy, but um, that laser's going deeper than numbing cream can I don't go. Like that, especially on your. I didn't uh-huh. want to do that. Yeah, I didn't do that. I know, no. Just shave, shave. I can't. Or, well, yeah, it, I, I made it through. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. Ah, let's finish. Let's, let's put a bow on our taking our children away. Yeah. Okay. So, so they're gone. Now it's they're off the adventure. It was hard to leave them again to take them again. It was. Um, yeah. But was Kenton worse? So Kenton Jeff stayed, was very upset. So the night before we were going to take our son to college for the first time, I got in bed and my husband was crying, mm-hmm. and I said, "He's still up. Go, go check on him." Mm-hmm. And I waited for a while. He was gone for a while. So I got out of bed. I went into the bedroom. I look in there. My husband and my son are both in in the bed. My husband's weeping. (laughs) My son's eyes are a little red. I'm like, I'm not missing out on this fun. I get in the bed too. I start weeping. And we start thanking our son for being such a good son and filling our home with music and taking care of me when I was sick. And then, um, and then I go. He can't stay. He has to go. <laughs> like we just started like ugly yelling. Trying to negotiate. Yes. <laughs> He's got to go. He has to go. They have to go. They have to go away. They have to fly. But that doesn't yeah. mean we have to like it. Right. Yes. Yeah, and it kind okay. of like messes up the dynamic of the household now that there's only we have one at home. Well, okay. So let's the talk giggles, about the second one. The giggles have decreased by ninety percent because they don't have t- like two was kids your, to talk and make jokes. And I'm like, what are you talking about? In well, there? was your older one more social? Like, who is the That's one a great that question. comes out of the room more? So it's just at dinner, I would say, okay. or we're like whenever we're in line to board an airplane yeah. or at the grocery store, they would be talking and right. laughing, mm-hmm. and I would enjoy that. Yes. And so now it's just me and my younger son talking. And I don't know what he's talking about half the time. Yeah, I know. It's cap, <laughs> mi, mid, mid, mid. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, boomer, I don't have cringe. A, I get, it's like it's a different language. Yeah, and don't do emojis. Don't text them emojis, I've learned. Oh, uh, they're it's out of fashion. Cool. Uh-oh. Cool. Well, I, I mean, can't. you can text me emojis. I, I'm dyslexic. Emojis <laughs> saved my life. They're so great. I really like them. <laughs> I love an emoji. I you can do a thumbs up. 
Um, the other thing that I feel like I did is I like gained a ton of weight. So I'm trying to figure out <gasps> like, too. am I getting the his freshman 15? Am I eating more? What, was I drinking more? Like, what happened mm-hmm. also? And so then I'm thinking, like, ugh, it's just, that's really the middle age. That's the middle age. But I don't like that. I have a friend who says she can tell if you're uh, middle age, perimenopausal by looking at a woman's tummy. Stomach, yeah. Yeah. Mm, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Okay. Cheers to the yeah. tummy. Let's talk about that. P.S. If you wear um, a shiny fake leather skirt on stage with a lot of lights and you have a little tummy Uh-oh. it's, it's going to look does it show up nicely it's going to be very prominent oh, like oh <laughs> is she pregnant <laughs> mm. she's carrying low, <laughs> she's carrying low. <laughs> but everybody knows you don't ever ask that's right I have don't a joke about ask. it oh do you want to say it no <laughs> um, so let's talk about okay the creams and the face I know the cream face I know and the face so and then okay let's talk about Let's have be solution based here. Okay, what has okay, made right. you feel better? I, for me, going out with my girlfriends who are has been helping yep. to get over it. Go planning trips with going on trips with girlfriends. Mm-hmm, okay, has helped. I still haven't gone on a trip with my husband though. Did you do that? Like not really. Sans children. Well, actually, I lie. We did when we dropped him off. We went to Maine. Um, so we dropped him off in Boston. Did you go to L.L. Bean? We didn't want to go. We did. Yeah. Yeah. We, we did. Make, we bought. Did um, you make out inside some, of a huge bought, canvas bag <laughs> <laughs> with our names? Oh, on can you it? Wear, wear everything? Nothing except for a big, a big, a big can, canvas big, bag with yeah. your initials on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiters. That's um, no, we went and we bought um, some racks for the car. Mm, for kayaks mm. that he bought. Kayaks, speaking of That's indoor and outdoor. Are, yes. Yes. Yeah, so we got two kayaks, and just to remind everybody where we live. They live in Serenby. No, no, we live in Atlanta. Well, yes, but we there's no water. No. Yes, there is. Well, but for kayaks? I have no kayaks. idea. I should mention they're sea kayaks. Oh, they're sea kayaks. <laughs> oh, yeah, sea kayaks. That's a very di- – I was going to say, because there's like uh, – I know, mean, there's sort of rivers the, and such. What is it, like the Hooch or The Chattahoochee River. Yeah. Shoot the Hooch. I, think, I did yeah, that. I think I probably got to do a tube. Why? Okay, sounds like your husband, his way of coping yes. is buying ridiculous – Oh, e- he also bought a cricket. Sporting equipment. Yeah, yeah a, a, like a travel trailer. That also he's been running around in. A cricket. Like a, it pops up and does all these things and you, oh. you tow uh, it behind it like your a, car. Is, is it like a sprinter about. van? No. He looked at the sprinter van, but he bought this other thing instead. Okay. Yeah. So he's so he's going outdoors. Outdoors. Kenton his, is thinking my husband wants Kenton, to be out wants to be outside. Like to do a trip. He keeps he keeps wanting to take me up to the we mountains. We have two sea kayaks and a travel trailer. Why don't you go to the mountain? What, like what, like a cabin? Yeah, like go just go be in nature. It's so loud in Atlanta with like the leaf blowers and the planes and the helicopters. And that's your that's your white noise, Amy. You can come to Serenby. That literally is the white you noise. You can come to Serenby and stay with us. Come hang I'm out sure with us. I'm sure Serenby has leaf blowers. Uh, we try not to. We've tried to go electric. That's good. Well, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, so oh here, husband's God. buying things. He's buying outdoor hmm. equipment. My husband. He would like to be. Out of Outs- Atlanta. Is he, t- he? Is he sick of it? He is. He's sick of Atlanta. He would like to be in Boulder. He would like to be in California. He, he would like seventy-two degrees, twenty-four hours a day. Yeah. No. Yeah. That sounds none great. Of this stuff. I know, right? Or, or he uh, would like a sailboat too. A sailboat. All the things we can't use. I have in friends Atlanta. whose child went to school this year. Yeah. Did they get a sailboat? They got a boat. <gasps> Like a boat boat, not a sailboat. A boat boat. Oh. And it's in. Is it fabulous? I Where think is it's it? fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Newport. Newport, Rhode Island? I'm not going to say anything Newport, about who it is. Newport, Rhode Island and Newport, California. Oh, there's a Newport, California? There is a Newport, California. It's in Rhode Island. Okay. We've uh, talked about a sailboat. People do this. So, and I then know. people talk about this too with like with their ch- young children. I had a friend talk yeah. about this. She's like, "I'm we're going to get in a sailboat. We're going to sail with the kids mm-hmm. around the world. I'm going to homeschool them." And I'm like, "I would murder myself no, in the first day. No. I wouldn't hurt my children. I love my children, but I would throw myself overboard. I need a chef and I need somebody to sail that thing for me. And I'm on board and I'm good, but I don't want to be on it 24 hours. I want to be like a couple days and we'll get off. Seasick. Go to a beach. You're trying to learn seasick. You're trying to teach seasick. You're you're all on yeah. top of each other. The whole place smells like farts. But there's all these like fabulous YouTube videos and stories where all of these couples do that and they've made all this money and they're on these gorgeous boats and they sail all over. I mean, oh. they show all the icky stuff I don't too, think that my friend had that much money. I think they okay. were just going to do a small boat. I'm like, no, what if the big wave terrible. comes and you're in the middle of the ocean? What if pirates come? Do you ever think about that when you're ever like traveling and like, oh, we're right near the ocean and that's where the pirates live. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that I think a lot. you're fine probably okay. like in most places. In most don't places? go to Somalia. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, they have boats. Don't they travel around with their children? Teach them? <laughs> teach them? I don't know. But I, we're past that. So it's sort of a sad thing. Oh, here's the thing. Do you ever get any of the shutterfly memory things? Did you ever oh, do shutterfly? Those are- that's a gut punch. Oh, my God, gut punch. And it's like these cute, sweet little, little children. little children in a little oh. chair with a, in a little, little cute, diaper. Little noses and, and they're little adorable. Cheeks. And you're like, whose kids were these? Yeah. I don't remember this. Now they're just big and hairy. I know, but it was so sweet. So, like, Jeff is ready for grandchildren. Oh. I know, right? I've had I the thought. I don't want that. No. I know. I've had the thought. Like, I've had a few years to, like, yes, be free yes. and Five years. sail around Five, the world without my children homeschooling them. Five, ten years. But I do hope to be a part but of my grandchildren's months. We have 18 months until we'll official don't tap the table. Sorry, don't tap the table. 18 months. Tick tock, tick tock. When we uh, so plan, we're going to a I'll, I'll time in place. But when we were going to our, our uh, one of these like um, school program things, mm-hmm. like welcome to the school. They said get a jar and put marbles in it for every weekend you have with your children before they go to college. Oh my god! So you don't miss a weekend. Out. Look at Joel. Gonna, Joel had terrible parents. No, so. uh, yeah, no, I, I, uh, this is all foreign to me. Uh, but I just, I feel like you would just give yourself more anxiety. I get that it's like a reminder. Yeah. But I feel like instead of going and spending time with your kids, you would just stare at how few marbles there yes. are. Yes. Yes. Have you seen those Spiraling. calendars that like you choose your death date and they tell you how many days you have left? That's the and Scandinavian. And then you have to plan. Oh, that's the rest of your life. Like those are your weekend. Uh, uh. That's no, awful. Do, I don't want to think about that. Did you see that? It was uh, um, Amy Poehler ha- uh, voices a TV show, um, the art of death, the Swedish art of death cleaning. No, I'm it's not seeing that. Hilarious. Is it good. Okay. It's hilarious. Will but it settle me or will it? Yes, it's okay. be- they handle it beautifully. Oh. They're like, <laughs> okay, like you had a great life. Let's celebrate that, and let's still have the rest of your life not be in, like. Full um, stuff. Beholden to all these things. Things. You have. Okay, so it's like a Maria Kondo get rid of stuff before you die. Yes. Okay. But in celebratory. And it's Swedish people, <laughs> so it's hilarious. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, oh no. this so, anxiety. Uh, the marbles. The marbles. marbles. Like, uh, Did you oh, do it? We're all going to die. That's going to We're all going to die. That's going to be fun. But it's kind of a universal, you know. I feel like with boys, what I've done is be near them. Uh, as teenagers yes and not up in their yes. as grill present. as yes. the kids are be present no one says that, that, anymore. Was, that, don't say that anymore i know a thousand mm. years ago all of the my um colloquialisms are from the <laughs> 1990s it's embarrassing mine are like even older <laughs> do you know 80s? what a dop kit is yes <gasps> thank you i use it all the time yes. my husband thinks you know what a dop kit is nerd no. okay <gasps> okay okay ready this is let's this is go with the preppy handbook maybe if somebody could like <laughs> Put it if they text you, then maybe they could win a T-shirt if they know yeah. what a dop kit is. Yeah, <laughs> but if you maybe I'll clip this and stick it in the thing. Mm-hmm. A, uh, so I think it's in the preppy handbook. Do you think? Probably I had it. A dop kit is where you put your toiletries, yes. and sometimes it's made out of leather if you're fancy, and yeah. sometimes it's got an embroidery on the side yes. of it with maybe I don't know a Labrador retriever or, or your initials or your initials. Actually, your monogram LLB makes them. Your monogram. <laughs> monogram. Or um, like the facade of the most famous building at your college. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> anyway, I think there's a lot of terms like that that people, you know, uh, don't use anymore. I know, but that's kind of like well, I'm my, nerdy that way. My grandfather, no, my father-in-law calls calls the refrigerator an ice box. Oh, I like that. I you know it's very. Old. And it's not funny. Like he's on he's purpose. On purpose. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. Like, Language is fascinating. Oh, no, well, yeah, they have, that's what it. That's what it was back then. That was it. Just no, he was born in the fifties. Like they, who, like should. it was a normal refrigerator. Uh, it's okay. I, I know okay. it's fine. I'm not like <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean to him at all. Okay. okay. <laughs> so what else? The, so the language. Oh, so yeah. Uh, the last four years with my teenage son, I would just be near him, mm-hmm. and we would maybe be on our phones mm-hmm. at the same time. And sometimes I would try to touch his foot with my foot, mm-hmm. just the bottom, just a little bit of touch, because mm-hmm. he needs touches too. Mm-hmm. The other one wants back and rubs he all look the time. Up? But and give you like a little okay. smile. No, he's like, I think he didn't kick my foot away. That's I think good. that's probably that's, what he wanted that's a win. to do. That's a win. Mm. <laughs> that's a win. <laughs> oh my I'm just God. happy when they text me back. Okay, let's do okay. So spend time. Okay, okay survival, spend time with them. Survival guide. Be present. Spend time. Don't be up in the grill. Um, this is another Buy game. them a dop kit with their initials on this it. Before is, if you have a boy that doesn't talk, I hope Cooper doesn't listen to this. I oh, doubt he will. They're not um, going to listen. He, Our children. He can't listen. He, there's no way he will. Um, 
So I have when we're talking on the phone because he's a boy. He doesn't he doesn't offer things. Some uh-huh. boys are very chatty. I did not get those. Yeah. Um. You I I just out of the blue something comes into my head. I'm like, oh, have you thrown up yet at college? <laughs> And he's like, oh, yeah, actually, last week I had 22 jello shots. Oh, jeez. <laughs> on an empty <laughs> stomach. So sometimes you just throw noodles at the yeah, wall. Yeah, you never know what happens. That's so many jello shots. And you'll learn shots. something. That's so many jello shots. Yeah. Yeah, you just throw, like, got anyone pregnant? You're like, <laughs> oh. what are you like? Just go crazy. Go crazy. Like, have you toppled an empire? Have you failed a class? Yeah. Have you, like, like just. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know. I have don't have any good na- questions for him nachos i don't know I what don't you know. do at I'm college like, have you left your room are you going to the gym have you seen people making out at a party are you making new friends have you seen someone getting roofied that's terrible protect Ooh, them Ooh, yeah protect yeah. them oh i've i'm told we're supposed to send our kids to college with narcan yes yeah. yes did you uh no i couldn't I didn't. order it online because it didn't it sold it wasn't out. available or something amazon wouldn't ship it to me oh my gosh i was so because but i sent them with like a million other little fentanyl things fentanyl and the Fent- drugs yep, yep. even the, those even like the benign supposedly benign supposedly Supposedly, 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 benign drugs have fentanyl in them, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Not let my, I know. not saying that my children are doing drugs, I know, but, but we say I that, just do we need? Oh, speaking of drugs, speaking of drugs, I'm um, gonna have some more champagne. I'm pouring some more. Um, it's okay. I'm doing okay. Everything's better. I've been leaning. So, on, uh, people I play tennis with are older than I am, and they and they made it. They're alive, and they're yeah, they're they're like, "You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay." <laughs> are you worried that they're not gonna move back near you, or will you move oh, to them? Oh, because okay. we're having that debate right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I yeah. feel like we okay, are going to yes. Okay. Who do we stalk our children? This, I have two theories. Good. Okay. I mean, she's already admitted to stalking her children for with the with the. Map well, I mean, app. that's normal. That's this normal What's stalking. That's it's rain. raining that really like, hard that's right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's two there's two things I want to say. First of all, okay. Atlanta has the most amount of men who grew up here go away to college and then come back with a wife that I've ever seen in any other city. How, and is this I have like a friend. Your own- like These are me, my data points. Okay, I've collected. Your collection. Okay. At, at cocktail parties, so I mm-hmm. drill people, and I've one of my friends, her her f- future uh, mother-in-law said, "I will buy you a horse if you move back to Atlanta and be with a me." Horse, and because they wanted to see the grandchildren. Sure. And then, wow, I will that's buy good stuff. I will buy any future daughter-in-law a horse if she. Will you buy them a house? <laughs> oh, that's ex- Ooh, more expensive than maybe a, a horse. down payment. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, Andrews already has a girlfriend. Oh, good. I know we probably can't talk uh, too much about it, but oh, yes, yeah. like second Mazel Tov. I know Mazel. Second, like third week, girlfriend. We met her parents at family <gasps> weekend. We oh, met wow. her. We went to an escape room. That's advanced. I was uh, super advanced. She came and stayed with us. Oh my gosh, is she lovely? The, she's lovely. She sounds from lovely. Edina. Where's that? Minnesota. Can you hear her okay? Is she too far from the microphone? She's good. I got, I got her boosted up. Okay. I'm going to get closer. Oh, Medina, Minnesota. Edina. 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 And then <laughs> is she um, an intellectual? She is. Yeah. She's super confident, you're, you're really smart. Son is super smart. Yeah, he's yeah. super smart. Um, she's super smart, really confident, kind of ballsy. I really like her. Oh, and her gosh. parents are hilarious. So if we all get married and live together in their future, we'll all get along. So, okay. So then good. here's the thing. Do that's you, always a fear. Do you, do you move to where your children are or do you just visit? I have several stories. First okay, of all. I want to know what your sorry, theory is. I have a, so I've been told by a, a person older than us that what you do is you get, this is going to be, sorry, Joel, a rich person conversation again. You get a vacation house. No, this isn't my episode. This is talking about. <laughs> I know you haven't talked a lot this, yet. This <laughs> about Usually, sending, we'll get there. Kids off we'll get to, there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Hold on. And having money. Yeah, this is Joel. Um, usually talks a lot more than this. <laughs> so you try to get, if you can, um, a vacation house near where they would want to bring their friends. Right. So it's like a magnet. Yeah, like yes. a beach or skiing. Yes. And so they bring their friends, and you get to see them. Yep. Um, but I've also heard a story of like a grandma rented the house across the street from her new grandchild, and so she could take the baby. See, so the mom could yes. recuperate and sleep and be high benefit. Yeah, yeah. And the, but the mom also didn't work. Yeah, the grandma didn't work. Yeah, and she had the finances to rent the house. And I was like, that's a cool grandma. right because you're not in the house. You're not in her. You're not, you're not in, in the daughter-in-law's space. space. It's like go and clean and cook, pick things up, do laundry, hold the baby, go home. You're a golden. Go home. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's brilliant. No, I think I'm all for all those things. I'm hoping that they're 
close enough that we could have like Sunday dinner or something. I know a Sunday nice, right? dinner. Okay, a Sunday is dinner a Sunday nice? dinner a, th- a real thing? Because I had that on my vision board in 2007 when I was ball beating my husband into trying to move back to the East Coast because we lived in um, Col- Colorado, and I was like, I miss family, and I have all these young children and no grandparents. Yes, <laughs> this is a four alarm fire. Yes, it is. And we came back to the East Coast, but we came here, and the family was still too far away I for. Um, that was the biggest bummer about living in Atlanta is our f- no family. No here. family it was really sad. It's I rough. look back and think that was a mistake. I sometimes. I, do, I mean, I, I really love my life. I love all the directions it's a- landed in, but okay, now we're getting sad again. We'll I know. I just feel like um, <laughs> so. I, I've been learning about the Amish on um, YouTube. No, not, and <laughs> not in person. <laughs> not in person. <laughs> They, You're not interning. They have a, like a farmhouse, and then the par- the parents, like our generation, uh-huh. or whatever, will gift it or sell it at a d- d- discounted rate to their child. Okay. They'll move in, and they'll move into like a smaller house on the same property. Oh, that's nice. So you have your own space. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to do a shit ton of corn raising and, so like, <laughs> <laughs> and quilting and stuff. But I really believe like. Like the Latino culture, like all mm-hmm. of the cultures where you have a, a Nona around or a Nana and yeah, like a, I think it's a Gam amazing. Gam, they yes. live longer, they're engaged. Uh, watching old people with grandchildren is hilarious. It's the best. I I love that energy they bring. We see so so where I live full time, Serenby, which is just south of Atlanta. It's sort of like a little resort. Neighborhood yes. destination. Serenby is a beautiful planned community, community south of the airport, and it's organic and beautiful and there's celebrities there all the time sometimes and so the 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 founder the um founder he has all of his girls moved home his three daughters and they have five six seven grandchildren and they're all there and they all live there and he takes them every saturday all of them all, all the grandchildren. All the grandchildren. And he's like the little duck, the duck with the ducklings behind him. They just follow him. They totally like obey him. They spend the night, and he totally yes. gives everybody Saturday night off. And then I think there's like a brunch. The so next they have morning. a date night. I know, but you I can just, keep like, love alive. I, I kind of see that, and I'm like, oh. I guess maybe I need to think forward and emulate versus being sad that I didn't have that as. Well. Oh yeah, right. Uh, yes. So we that's move, another tip. Move forward Live near your family, <laughs> if you can. If you can. I know, right? but. I've, like we military families, my heart breaks happened? for them. They have to move so much. How did we get here? We because people, <laughs> it got easier to move and opportunities, and I like know, people would come I know. over. Those jobs, all, like the whole ocean, and never see their family again because it's they're too hard to go in your steamer ship. It's it's rough. Yeah, steamer ship. Are you watching any TV shows right now with steamer ships? I am. What are you watching? Eighteen ninety nine. What's that like about? Great, I don't know. I'm writing it's by it down. the same people who did Dark. What's that about? Joel, jump in here. Do you watch TV shows? I saw. I saw. <laughs> Do you see Dark on Netflix? Season of Dark. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, There's I, like I didn't finish super it. wackadoo. It was, yeah, I Is it at all like Gilded Age? No. That I'm not no, watching it. Dark, <laughs> no. 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 Amy it is like, like an no. intellectual German. But it's in English. Well, Dark wasn't, but this new one in 1899. But they're on a steamer ship, and there's all sorts of like crazy things that is happen. Is there intrigue and there sweating men? Intrigue and sweating men. Yeah, are they're they putting smoking? coal into the yeah. thing. They're smoking, and there are some good dresses. There's women on the ship. There's women on the ship. Oh, it's, well, it's not like a, a it's like a you know a steamer. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like a, a thing a that transcontinental. Went, yeah, it's a transcontinental from London to oh New York. I, I hope it's not the Titanic. Oh no, but one of them does get lost anyway. Um, <laughs> are you keeping yourself busy with TV oh, yeah. shows? What are you okay, doing? Okay, this is, goes along with uh, the survival plan of having your yes. children go away. So uh, my plan um, in 18 months when my children go are away. 100%. Are, are, uh, uh, and your husband's still outside here. Outside the perimeter? <laughs> uh, oh, OUT. Out. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was the one where each. Fr- That's OTP. When OTP, yeah. outside the perimeter. Uh-huh. I thought it was. They that- are outside the perimeter. Depends on where our children go to school. This is true. They could go um, to I w- I'm hoping I can just travel every weekend for yes. comedy and go see the world. Yes, that's what I want to do, too. Like but a vagabond. Not the comedy part. But I'll come visit you at comedy, but I'm oh. not going to do the comedy. Okay. I need help selling my merch. Okay, great. I'll stand there. Perfect. Can I've you, got the little square. You're, you're, I'll do the whole thing. Per- can, perfect. Super happy to do that. That sounds great. But I just want to be able to do anything like that, which I still feel obligated to stay. We just finished Swim. So we're done What's with swim? swim. What's swim? Swim, swim, swimming. Our, our oh, junior, your junior swim varsity swim. So that just yeah. ended this week. So now there's a little more. 
um, free time for everybody. I have heard from an, uh, so I I've been I've been uh, talking to a lot of people who are older than me trying to make a plan, and they said. <laughs> It actually, after you get over the emotional part, it's lovely uh -huh. having your time and your bandwidth back. Yep. It's, it, they likened it a little bit to, and they kind of retired at the same time because mm. they, had, they had a lot of kids. Okay. Uh, to, so he likened it to being in college again. And you're like, oh, hey, who am I? What, what do I, I want to do? do? Yeah. Let me invest in that. We had a friend that went to um, culinary school. Okay. Just for fun. Like not to like become a professional chef at 60, but. To learn how to cook To better. just learn to cook better and like meet the young kids and get involved. Mm -hmm. And I think it is a time to like be bad at something and start something fresh, you know. So I. Um, Amateur. Taken two oh. writing classes at Emory um, online. And I'm I think, writing, not writing. Right, writing, not writing. <laughs> <laughs> writing, creative writing classes, which have been fun online. So that's been great because I felt like there was time yes. to do that. And then I think, if I, I guess if I say it on here, then I have to do it. Is that how it works? Um, I think I'm. Is it take, on your vision board? If not, you're I don't okay. Have a vision board. Should we <gasps> make one later? You, I'm taking your white card away. What's <laughs> that? Not. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's white card? Uh, it's your white lady card. Oh, my white lady card. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Bummer. Saren B. Oh. I know. <laughs> I love my white lady card. Uh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, well, maybe we'll do a vision board after this. So um, there's a workshop at Saren B that's a writer's workshop. So I think I'm going to sign up for it. I haven't signed up yet. That's in lovely. Three weeks, and I'm going to take a week off from work and, <gasps> and just write. do that. Right. Oh. But it sounds really scary. I don't know why. Because you're indulging uh, a hobby. And it's not raising children or, mm -hmm. or making money. Mm -hmm. So it feels yes. very it's naughty. It's not doing any of those things. Doesn't it feel like a little naughty? It does feel naughty. Wear lingerie the whole time you're doing I will. it. And don't so floss. I'll appreciate that at 8 in the morning when I show <laughs> Make it real my black lingerie. <laughs> so I have a friend who wrote a book recently. What? Who? Sally Brooks. She wrote a book. She came on the She's pod. a good name. She's a great name. She's yeah. a stand-up comedian. And um, she met her husband. <laughs> Thank you. Walking on, um, hiking the... Walking. <laughs> What's that thing that goes from like the weird? Appalachian Trail? Yes, mm. and this it's the story, and she's a comedian, oh, so it's really well fun. written. Okay, and she does retreats. She treats herself to retreats. And does she retreat? Wait, she no, retreats. she goes on the retreat. She, she goes do to retreats. cabins. She'll just rent a cabin oh, for four days. That's on my vision board. And like salute out to her family. And this is like I, that's okay. all I can think about. Vision board. It's just like if, if I can't focus for longer than 30 minutes because I get um, a text or a call or a request. Or I request see something in the house that needs to be done. Something that needs to be done. work stuff that needs to be done. someone's knocking. And mm -hmm. knocking. to like just be in a place where you're not responsible for anything or anyone. Mm -hmm. And to give yourself that much bandwidth after years. Mm -hmm. 18 yeah, who years was, who was of number like, one? When's the last Were time I changed one? a diaper? No. How many ounces of dairy did my child have today? Because if he has too much dairy, Were he's you? not going to poop. When's the last time they pooped? When's uh, are they in danger? Do they have the like paperwork for? Did they go to oh, get God, all their the shots? paperwork? Yeah, the signatures. Uh, I'm. I can't. I I cannot fill out any more paperwork. How about when the last time you could go to the bathroom and take a shower by yourself? I mean, but uh, that, I think we've passed that at this point. But you still, got some that kinky like, families. <laughs> In the early days. In the early days. Ugh, I see these people having babies right now, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't even. I can't start from the beginning again. That's no. why, like, I, people do when you get fat at this age. They sometimes ask you if you're pregnant, uh, and I want to punch them right in their no, throat. Seriously. I'm like, I can't take care of a child. Mm -mm. Even, I mean, I'm, I mean, you're, we are uh, losing eggs. At, like, they kind of come out faster when you're perimenopausal. You like, you have oh, no eggs, that. and then you'll have two eggs. That's why they have like more multiple births the older oh, you get because okay. their body's like abandoned right, right, ship. Right, 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 She's okay. going down. <laughs> Quick, we gotta get some of these turn into humans. <laughs> Uh, it gets real crazy, uh, but I can't. I can't start over from scratch again just to have my heart broken when no. I go to college. I know. Now that you know. Now that you now know. that you know. Yeah. Who knew that that was going to happen though? So there's right? like no book, but we're the book. We're the book. We're sharing. We, no one reads anymore. This is this the is the book. I yeah. think a lot of people knew that kids leave. Well, they but, know that they like, leave, but you didn't know you were going to end up in a ball in the corner taking the dust bunnies <laughs> off there. Just depressed for three months. It's so fine. So upsetting. Crying <laughs> on the way to the airport. I mean, it's the same thing, you, you know. I mean, like, you, you, you get a dog, you know what's going to happen. Oh, that's, yeah, it's awful. Oh, I know. That's right? sad. Oh, God. 
Um, I <laughs> we won't talk about that. We don't want to talk about that. Mm. Oh, it's, that's a sad. That's so sad too. I know. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> taking it, Listen, taking it to a dark parents, place. So I'm trying to bring some negativity to this podcast here. <laughs> Y'all are just talking about loving and supporting your children, and what I didn't get that. So. What else? I, I wrote a few notes down. I'm trying to think if there's anything this, that's yeah. on here and that's say, interesting. This is different than when I used to drop them off at camp. Mm. And mm -hmm. I would drop them off at camp. Yeah. And I gotta be honest, I would forget about them. Like a week into not having two children, when it's like the busiest time of parenting, I yeah. was like, oh, I got so much done. So much done. This, I'm still in love with my husband, who knew? Like right. we haven't made eye contact in a year. <laughs> and it was great, it was great. College, it's, it's different. It's different. Because they're not coming back, really. They're not coming back. The so dynamic like now, of the family is cracked it's forever. It's totally cracked. But they're coming back, so did he come back for Thanksgiving? He came back for Thanksgiving. So just a week. He short. came back for he Christmas came back for, for a, like month. a month. Yeah, and then he's going to come back from spring break. Are you guys going? We're going to go what take him. Do they have the same spring break? They don't. But oh. we're going to take Malcolm out of school for a couple days. Oh my god, I love it. Because <laughs> that's how important our family is, oh, our family time. That's sweet. And then for Malcolm's spring break, we're going to go visit Cooper at college. <laughs> we're like college visit, quote unquote. No, we're just we just want to get the family oh, together. So I have a friend who lives in Pennsylvania, and her kids are at Rochester and Bates, which is in Maine. She is there, I swear to God, like every weekend. Oh, she, gosh. There are like photos on Facebook. I'm like, oh, that's not what's healthy. What's going on, Rebecca? That's not healthy. But she's like, it's just an adventure. It's only five hours away. I'm like, that's really far drive. She's driving? Yeah, she's really excited. She's, now I'm she worried about her. Do we need to send her? Um, okay, Oprah has these like, these workbooks where you try to figure out what your passion is. What? She does. <laughs> I went to an Oprah sem seminar. Should okay. we give her one? And, yeah, maybe. She's got to she find her own job, thing. too. She's a full time job. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. It's she's got to find her own thing, and I, I'm I'm excited about my own thing. And when I'm doing my own well, you thing, I feel knew good. that you were going to do your own thing. When I yes. met you, or maybe somewhere in the meeting of you, you had said, "I have to have something before my kids go to college and they leave me." So I have to have something I'm interested in, and so this is what yes. it is. This is like what it what is. What we're doing here. And then luckily, I really do love it. I love it's it so really much. Fun. I, yeah, I know we like to talk. So. I like podcasting. I, I like chatting. I like stand up making, comedy. Making and I'm writing a book. Thing, writing f I know. How's the book going? It's good. I got seven chapters. Oh my God. Are we going to read some afterwards after I do my vision board? Maybe and then we a can reading read some. from the book of Amy. Will you read a chapter for me? I'll try to because oh. it's pretty bad. I'm, I'm having Come to practice. On. No, I'm having to practice reading things out loud because I'm dyslexic. It's oh, because you're gonna, you gonna go have, on your book on your book tour. You're gonna have to do readings. I have fantasies that I've turned into like a little bit of a David Sedaris, and I get to oh, like yeah. read, and then I like I read a ch new chapter of my new book to see if anyone's laughing at the parts that like it's like an open mic. Yep, yep, that would be great. You could do like half comedy, half that. I would love that. Or I could read your book for you, so that like, and then I'd be um, like on the side. You'd be like, and now a reading, <laughs> and now a reading from my yeah. So you, didn't, you don't have to worry about messing up any of the words, right? I think you know it's probably part of the way. It's my voice, and my voice would definitely mess up words. So it's probably going to okay. be part of the then cadence, it's part of it, part oh, of the style. Yes, it's not Hemingway. Part of the brand. It's uh, learning to read way, <laughs> hooked on phonics way. <laughs> hooked on phonics did not work for me. I didn't do hooked on phonics. No. You, yeah, I have no phonics. <laughs> I don't know. Did you take a language? Yes. And what did you do? French? Spanish. Spanish. How's that? Seven years. And no bueno. Oh, <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> I can actually do more Italian because I uh, spent more time in Italy. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to live there. Oh. If you if you don't use it, you lose it. You do lose it. Okay, so the book's coming oh. out. So you have a thing. You're gonna do the book. You're gonna. You've already got all this. And you're yes. just going to do more of it. That's what I'm going to do. What's your plan? What are you going to do? You're writing. So I'm writing. Um, I do a couple podcasts. So I'm like, mm -hmm. can I blow Tell everyone that about up? your podcast. Okay, so I have two podcasts. And One I'll drink my champagne. One started off as um, a brand podcast for Serenby. So it's called Serenby Stories. So it's like everybody has a Serenby story. And so we mm -hmm. interview people who've been to Serenby, who are interested in Serenby. And then lately it's been residents, which has been a lot of fun. Joel, do you know what Serenby is besides a planned community outside of Atlanta? You have to come and hang I just, out. I, I know it's a place. It's, well, you have to come so hang out and then you'll can see. Can you say some of the cute things about it? Like it has, um, has an inn with a cute little animal village and a labyrinth so you can set intention and walk that um so you it's can stay health, at the inn healthy. it has four or five restaurants beautiful tons of restaurants. homes tons of new retailers opening up um cute little shops it's very um, agricultural a spa, has a farm organic farm has a beautiful yeah. spa of, like i don't even know this how many place, rooms this place looks like it's uh from a hallmark movie it is <gasps> it does yeah it feels yes, like a hallmark it, movie yeah. mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. really sweet 
It's really sweet. lovely. And so basically, so I started that, and then I started um, the whole sort of, if you will, the mission of the – full disclosure, I do marketing for them. The mission is to, like, connect people to nature and each other, and so a big part okay. of it is to, is to so, save I'm gonna land. I'm going to slow it down because I had a glass of wine okay. and nothing to eat. Um, yeah. So your mission is to connect people – to each other? To each other. And nature. And nature. <laughs> I know, it's so nice, I right? need both those things. <laughs> I know, you can hang out with me. Okay. So out of that, I started beautiful. learning more and more about nature and the benefits and everything. And so there's a concept called biophilia. Can you say that, Amy? Biophilia. 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 Philia. So Ophelia was a character in Hamlet, <laughs> and she uh, committed suicide because no. her boyfriend went crazy. So it's like biophilia. So it's like you are pro-nature, right? Okay. So you're for nature. Basically. You get a boner for nature. <laughs> you can say that. I won't say that, but yes. So basically, the whole idea was started by this guy, E.O. Wilson, and he basically said, we need nature to thrive. Yes. Just that's a simple thing, right? Yes. We need nature to thrive, so we need more of it. So I started another podcast, which is like super nerdy, called Biophilic Solutions, which is like the Biophilic nerdy. Biophilic Solutions. Biophilic Solutions, which is like a nerdy sister of Sammy Stories. Okay. And so we interview people who have like nature has the answers. So like we could come oh. and say that you are biophilic. You have a solution because you're making us laugh and I, I could try and jam that. And I made out of bio stuff. A bunch you of are, it. You are a real person. I make a lot of goo. It comes in, it comes out. <laughs> it's not anyway, a closed system. <laughs> so I think maybe more podcasts. I don't know. I want to do more podcasts. I don't know. I can't do them all though, but I love them so much. Yeah. They're so fun. It's fun. Maybe I create a podcast network. <gasps> Joel, Joel, come on, jump come on. in. You want to party with us? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I know how to do that. I'm She's just looking, looking at your at, podcast. I'm looking at the labyrinth now. Oh yeah, <laughs> at Sarah. Was it beautiful? I know. I know. This place looks like uh, it would be a good little weekend trip. For yeah, Rachel. You guys should come to. hang out with us, and we'll we'll uh, I don't know do this, some recordings or videos or something. I was doing utilize our talents. I was doing a little googling yeah. after the holidays about yeah. alcoholism, Uh-oh. and I learned about this thing <laughs> called. Gray area drinking. Have you heard of this? Uh-uh. Okay, there's a TED Talk. It's gray area drinking. Okay. I'll put the link in the. I'll put the link. link in the show notes. And it's like, okay, you're not a full blown alcoholic mm-hmm. because you still. Drink some water. I don't know. Maybe you have a job and a family and everything. But you're high functioning. You're high functioning, but you drink more than you want to on occasions. Mm. And um, I was like, shut up, internet. And <laughs> <laughs> so don't hold a mirror up to me. But it said. Um, that when you're repla- stopping to drink yes. and doing other things that mm-hmm. are healthier, yep. um, you have to replace these chemicals in your brain. And I don't know if it was like, I'm dyslexic, GABA, DAPA. Oh, GABA, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, GABA, G-A-B-A. G-A-B-A. Mm-hmm. And one of the ways to do that is to be in nature for 20 minutes. All right. Looking at water, being in a forest. Perfect. Something like that. And I, both my husband and I feel the lack of nature in our lives with the way we've got ourselves set up. Like this is maybe you need a house in Zambia. Maybe he wants to go. He wants to go to the mountains so he can run in the summer and not have a heart attack from the heat. I understand that. Um, So being yeah, nature is so important. It's so important. It's so important. And uh, the alcohol thing is important to like cut it down. So like I've been doing that. Although we're sitting here drinking and it's been delightful. I know. Like less anxiety, less depression. Yeah. Yes. Really great. And so I've been doing a ton of tea. I've gotten tea, turned into tea, a tea, tea lady. I've yes. turned into a tea lady, and I'm like a big fan of my reishi turmeric ginger. Turmeric's supposed to be good. Isn't that for good for um, inflammation? Probably. Ugh. Which is, this is not good for inflammation. But no, it okay. makes more inflammation. But it's better than cake. It is better than cake. I, I, I learned that from my diabetic friend. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> did um, the tea, what's that um, fake champagne that we used to like? The rosé, the sparkly rosé we loved so much. Oh. Um, it was very, the best It was non-alcoholic. What was it? Shirley? Shirley. Shirley. Surly. Sure. Shirley. Shirley. But no H. It's like S- A sur- S- Surly? Shirley? S- I'll put the link anyway. to. Did we should go to that uh, Zero Proof place in Atlanta. Have you anybody been there? I've been I've been to um, a sober bar in Atlanta and I did comedy there. Oh, that's nice. How was it? I think they closed. Oh. But mm-hmm. they were great. It was lovely. Oh, and like then we that. have, I have friends that do, are very sober mm-hmm. and they do shows for Sobriety shows. And that's like, great. And then people love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do the Surly link. It was the best sparkling dry rosé on the market. Yeah. If you're like wanting some to have something stuff. special with your dinner and it not have alcohol yeah. in it. And, and not be good sweet. beers out there too. I mean, Kenton, oh, Kenton doesn't drink very much, right? Kenton drinks Jeff all the drink non-alcohol. All. all the non-alcohol. He drinks all, yeah. 
Our boys. The are non-alcoholic very beers are so They're good. They're so good. They're better than the wines. They taste yeah the same. Taste like they taste comfort. the same. Mm-hmm. So if you need like a nacho night, you're just like, uh, I need. I this is what I figured out. When yeah. I get overwhelmed, I've had a day of like traffic and trying to text too many things and my thumb has and arthritis blower, in and it blowers and the blowers, blowers or walking next to a road with like the very busy yeah. car sounds really got to get you out of here going right next to me <laughs> um i have anxiety yeah and the only thing i can think about to bring that down is to binge eat and drink nachos okay nachos not like it doesn't matter but it, just an example yeah, tater tots like probably would be a good. margarita or yeah. two and yeah. some fatty foods and that gives me gaba Probably, but you can but you can take the, GABA. It's not a healthy way. You can? Yeah, you can take it. Is that cheating? Am uh, I going to get addicted no. to GABA? No. Mm-mm. Am I going to get strung out on GABA? <laughs> Be selling no. my Schumacher draperies to mm-hmm. get some GABA? My fancy camera for yeah. my podcast? Fancy producer? Living on the streets? <laughs> I know, but well, let's give a shout out to Athletic Brewing. They're a good one, too. Maybe they can come and sponsor you. Athletic. To, to, to Kenton be. would. A okay. non-alcoholic beer. Okay. okay. Yeah, we have it in our fridge. Yeah, it's so good. I was like, which kind of sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay, what else? The kind that get know. calls in the middle of the night? Or oh, I know. The well, kind you were my money. sponsor. That was how we first met. Yes, we did. That yeah. was our origin story. You sponsored me. We did. At um, school. Mm-hmm. You were my parent. Ooh. I don't know how they did that, but they picked so well. Um, the children's a, school. Can we say the children's school on here? It's a self, like everyone who's there is fun. Is it's, it? Yeah. I don't know. You were especially fun. That, well, thank you. You were good. You're good too. All right, let's. Shall we <laughs> okay. talk about? I, I was trying to like. Usually, th- this is more giggles, but I, I am. I think it's a <laughs> New Year kind of feeling for yeah. me. I feel like we need to do habit stacking. Okay, what's and that? like reaching out f- for help. Okay, great. When we need it. Yes. You have a parent that has Alzheimer's. Yes, my dad. Yes. Mm-hmm. Waka Waka comedy yeah, I show. Know. I know. Uh, sorry, this is like no, this, is a, this is a survival guide. This yeah. is what like women, like any kind of people, getting together, mm-hmm. talking about what they're going through, and then that's the only. I can't read. I can't research on the internet what to do. I've got to have my no, girlfriends come honestly, over and tell it to my face. The internet is just a black hole, and so you really yeah. need people who actually have had the real experiences to actually guide you through okay. stuff. Yeah. Is how I found. Um, so yeah, so my dad has Alzheimer's, and you know he's had it for probably six. I mean. He's had it for diagnosed six or seven years ago. And so it's kind of been a slow roll. It's been interesting. Okay. How did he um, find out? How could he tell? Well, um, I think they did a cognitive test and um, – At one of his, like, checkups? Mm-hmm. And figured it out. And I don't know how you define Alzheimer's versus dementia versus some of the other Is there other a blood stuff. test? That's really good. Well, there is, like, a genetic thing, which I haven't done. But I, I – Did you get the genetic testing for um, breast done, cancer? I haven't like done any genetic Angelina test. Jolie. I haven't done any genetic testing. I did the one for I've, like, barely genetic. done blood work. I mean, seriously. I'm, seriously? I'm the worst. Okay. I mean, I've done, like, all my menopause. Like, I know that. This, the HRT, I can talk all about that. But This is – okay. Yeah, we can talk about say. that, too. But that's a whole other – but Alzheimer's, so – it's been interesting as your parents age, right? So my dad is going to be 90 next summer and my mom is 80, about to be 87. So they're older. They had me when I was older because you can tell I'm very, you know, so young. Um, <laughs> but they um, are still in their house, which is amazing. Um, they are pretty high functioning and even my dad's high functioning. Like his biggest thing is he will forget. Like if he met you, he would ask you repeatedly who you are. He would flirt his ass off with you. Right? And do all he's so can charming you, and adorable. Can you tell the story and lovely. About when he came down in a suit? And you were at home, like you came back to visit, and he came oh my downstairs God. in a suit. He, he wasn't in a suit, but but oh, he, I thought he came down in a suit. No, no, no. So so um, about a year ago, he was a businessman. He was he ran. He was an engineer, so he was really smart. He is a really smart guy, and you can get real deep stories out of him of like past. It's just the short term memory is yes. like you know. And so we're gotten to the point where we really walk into the room just for tips, you know. Hi, Dad. It's Monica. It's your daughter. Or, hey, this is Anders, your grandson. We're, we try and proactively share that with him so he doesn't have to ask or feel scared. Can we just do that at here? every party, though? Like, hi, the hostess. I know. This is, I'm Amy. I'm your friend. I met you at tennis. This is my husband, Kenton. I make Honestly. jokes about him and my stand up that you also came to. This is my son. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> We've been to three birthday parties. <laughs> yeah. And that's been that's really good. That's awesome. And t- yeah, so we've been, we've been there a lot. So about a year ago is when it really you think you're he's fine, you know he hangs out, 
But I went – I got there early. My son and I flew in – there in Los Angeles. I flew in early. And um, it's a two-story house. And I went up and I'm sleeping in my bedroom and my brother's sleeping in my brother's, right, like well, in our house. And I get a phone call. Now, not on my phone. We have like – actually landline phones, oh. but you know some of the landlines have those like intercom systems? Yeah. I don't know. So we get an intercom. It starts ringing and I'm like, this is, you know, I'm like, oh my God, there's a phone. I don't know what's happening. It's Your four time in the morning. Change. Yeah. I, and I pick up the phone and it's my dad downstairs asking basically for the manager. <laughs> <laughs> he's like confused and he's looking for something to eat. I'm totally discombobulated. I finally like get myself together, throw on like some sweats and go downstairs. And he's in the kitchen sort of trying to figure out, I think he was trying to get something to eat, but he didn't know. He huh. really didn't. I think he woke up and just didn't really yeah. know what was going on. Has he been in this house the whole time? Been in this house this whole time. Okay. And so this was a very what, odd experience. Was he ever like the guy to cook or is he the guy was no. the guy to open up the refrigerator he was and a announce more to the wife, traditional What should I eat? Old school. Yeah. yeah, like not much. He made a, a great omelet and then um like he would make these and then amazing out. Yeah. Or um <laughs> like um a cocktail and um, you know, really good at like milkshakes. So he came down and I sort of just troubleshooted, but he's like, Has this ever happened to you? Have you had problems? With the manager before, <laughs> and I was like, "No, I haven't." <laughs> um, but what? What are we trying? What it's are we like, trying to do? The manager might be your mom. Exactly. Like, well, she did she ground did. me a bunch she of times <laughs> in the nineties. <laughs> she did hide the tacos, so we ended up figuring out. You know, I just sort of went with it, and and I relay the story to like my husband, and he was like really kind of upset about it. And to me, it was the only thing I could do was sort of not laugh about it, but just sort of take it in stride because. You can't do anything but that. And it's it you was get- just letting him roll and we got him food and mm-hmm. I just told him that I was gonna report report it <laughs> and that uh, in triplicate. And in the morning he was fine. But that was the most sort of like holy shit if uh, we have a problem ooh, here. There's a thing too where older men get de- very dehydrated and they get urinary tract infections and they so. get real loopy. It was on succession, but it was also oh, in real oh, life. Yes. yes. So okay. Yeah. So oh, okay. Oh, so okay. just home. And my my mother <laughs> passes out. You it. She's sitting at the dining room table. Your at, mom. Yeah, at, ki- at the kitchen table and just passes down, out. Passes out. And I'm standing there with her and I'm like, oh my God, she's dying. She's having a stroke. She's having a heart attack. What do I do? You know, yeah. we call 911. Dehydration. 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 Mm. And she also gets urine. Sorry, probably TMI for, but urinary tract infections. And so we were talking about the whole succession thing where he ended up peeing in the bath, the, the bedroom or the closet or whatever. Yeah. So he, he this is a out. real yeah. thing. So here, tip for everybody, when you get older, mm-hmm. drink a ton of water because if you are dehydrated, you haven't had a ton of water, put that in your show notes. Yeah. You eat food, all the blood goes to your stomach and you pass out. Oh. And so and in older people, their vascular system isn't as efficient Mm-hmm. And so that happens even more. Yeah. And so it turns out that's kind of happened to my mom a few times. And then she was on a blood pressure medicine. They changed blah, 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 blah. But yeah. we have like this total chaos. That yeah. This happens. It's She's scary. in the emergency room for two days. And it turned out she had COVID. She had also, COVID. That nobody oh, knew. God. <laughs> they never had COVID. Then my dad got COVID. And so anyway. That's just wild. Yeah. I don't know how we got yeah. there. But um, you got to keep, keep your old people hydrated. Keep everybody hydrated. Watch out for your blood pressure medicine because it, your vascular system changes as you age. So you that pill that down. you thought you needed to get down, you may need half of it. Half of it. Let's see. Number three, um, find an elder care specialist. Ooh. We just found a woman who we are calling like our like Mary Poppins, who's basically knows the ins and outs of all of the retirement homes, the doctors, how to talk to everybody, the um, the in-home care people. Like, she's like a wizard. Mm-hmm. Because how would we know? Yeah. So it's like almost... You don't know how the brain is going to decay. And, and so she sees that. And so she's the, doing evaluations. And yeah. so she's kind of like our Sherpa through this. Mm-hmm. And we've sort of been in the wilderness for a couple of years looking for this person. And we finally found her. So that's, that's nice. my other tip. I, I feel like um, if you can, keep the people in their house. That's what we're trying to do. we moved my grandmother. And she... I didn't. We didn't realize how far gone her brain had gone, mm. and her, your the muscle memory, like the lizard part of your brain, your habit part, is the last part to go. Okay. So when you move them, and it's no longer three turns to the bathroom, and the lizard part of their brain knows that, and they have to figure out where the bathroom is There's in this no new way. place, she stopped being able to use her email. 
Oh, no. She stopped being able to use her cell phone. Oh, no. And she stopped being able to use the remote. And she could do all those things in her home two days before. So that is our biggest fear with my dad is putting him somewhere else. You have to keep and, him there. Exactly. And so yeah. my mom, though, this is a little bit the other tip is like – Maybe we should have moved them like 10 years ago before the dementia diagnosis or like before. Because Even if now it, he's not, he can't reorient his brain no. on short term on a new you building. Can't. You have to keep area. him there. And that's better because yes, guess what? Now. Here's the thing. This okay, is, go. This is, if, this is going to be the clip because I need the okay. world to know this. Do you okay. think you're putting your, your, your grandparent or your parents into a place? They're like, oh, yeah, we can handle everything. And the moment their brain stops working all the way, they're like, they have to go to the memory section now. Well, that's the other thing. And then you move them again. Yes. And, oh. You d- no, 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 no. Oh, punch them right in the throat. Yeah. Kick them in the nuts. Yeah. Just take their head. Put them on an iceberg. Be yes. in Sweden. Throw them off of the mountain. It, that's more humane than making these people who don't have a memory it, keep moving. I, I'm a person who has a good memory and is even go, like going to different motel hotel rooms. Hotels, <laughs> not motels. Room number. I'm classy. <laughs> hotel rooms and having to stay in these different places. You wake up in the middle of the night and you like... No, I'm so glad I don't have a wiener that I'm knocking on no, desk no. chairs <laughs> trying to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus, I can't believe we it's do this so to true. people. So the other crazy thing that we just learned is so like if you want to go into the retirement home, I know this is like Joel. Sorry, one day it's the make. I think the he's, important information. I think Joel's going to have raccoons eat his parents. He doesn't care for them very oh, much. I don't give. They don't. Get, I don't have any say what they do. Okay, they, then we don't they care. Can just fuck off. Okay, well, that's perfect then. So is that a trampoline get, accident with Nana? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Come to this area, we have champions. A heavy bounce. Um, so the, um, if you are diagnosed with dementia, you cannot go into the independent living. Yeah. They won't let you go in unless you have 24-hour care. So like my mom and my dad cannot go yes. into a place together no. No. unless they also pay for 20-hour for our care. So why don't we just pay for pay that for 20-hour I mean, we don't, we don't, for we don't want to do that at home either, but – what the, the hell? We, like the we world, put my nana in a place, and then we still had to hire someone. Yeah. We, should, we could have just yeah. hired that person. And have him stay in and the house, have her and stay she in still home. could have used the remote control. And have her remote, and be where her stuff is, and her memories, yep. and had like a much easier time of it all together. They, they're still so going to make you, you hire somebody. Do when you get old. I was, I have write. Have you thought about that? No, I can't. You like a lot of grab I do bars plan, in the house? I do want to plan my funeral. Grab bars? Well, you, they have to have all these grab bars when you get old. Oh, the, the grab toilet, bars. Dude, and the shower. If you exercise the, too much at this age, we still need them. I know. Well, we got to do a lot of yoga. So we need to do yoga after this, a vision board. What's the third thing? Some Oprah thing? Stop drinking. Oh. You got to read from Amy's book. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, Amy's book. Have you ever done reading. so many squats in the morning? You go to like get sit down in the toilet mm-hmm. and like, ah! Like yeah, just, yeah. Like, oh, and then you can't. I know you can't get back. You up. can't get back up. And your husband has to come rescue you. Oh yeah, this real sexy. Mm. <laughs> oh Maybe golly. Just, um. Mm. I, yeah, I don't know what I want to do yet do. for how when I'm very old. Um, but I do know what I want to do for the next ten years. That's yeah. So that's I'm going to do ten years at a time. Ten year marbles. Ten year marbles instead of all the weekends with the children. Mm-hmm. The children can suck it. What are the ten year marbles? Yeah, they're gonna have a blast. They're gonna be in college with like, I don't know. All the young son's people. Dorm is terrible, but why it's is the gross. dorm terrible? Oh, it's just like cinder blocks and oh, old yeah. school. Like what's no up air, with, no I, air conditioning. Yeah, I, these in the basement. What's up with these stories of like all of these like glorious dorms and all this money being spent? I think that's Hogwarts. And then, <laughs> and then like this kid is in like I swear to God that it hasn't changed since I went to college. Sad. Yeah, I, I went to a beautiful college, and I had picture molding, oh, so we could hang our pictures from oh. the picture molding, so you don't put little nails in the wall beautiful. like an animal. All girls, and it was wood floors, and it was beautiful. Uh, it was no, in I don't three thousand acres of rolling Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm-mm. Talk about nature! Mm-mm. I would run in nature every day oh. with my walk man oh. and my. Was it yellow? Yes, and my earphones, listening to Dave Matthews Band, (gasps) and just trying to grow myself up. Just like get your life together, get good grades, get a job. I was like police synchronicity. Oh, he was dating a girl at my at my college. Mr. Police, what's his name? Um, Dave Matthews. Oh, Dave Matthews. No, I was thinking police synchronicity. Oh, Dave Matthews dated a girl at your college. Nice. Yes, I think they got married and had children. She was a doctor. Google that. I didn't know that. Yeah. So he would be in our ca- in our cafeteria, oh, fun. and I'm like, did he hey, sing man, to you? over there. He did um a, a concert just himself in our Dell. Do you know what a Dell is? No, it's a Dell. A Dell is like a little amphitheater, but made by a hill. 
And oh, so it's like nature. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Okay. I, that was... I, this is fun. Uh, this is I don't know if you've done this, but I've been projecting my college experience onto uh, to my sons. Is that and working? no, <laughs> not at all. He was going to college at a big, big public school. I'm like, you need to have a tuxedo for all the formals. And he, <laughs> I went to like eight formals my freshman year B- between all the other schools I lived near and how much I like to dress up and Aww, flirt. Oh my god, it was heaven. So fun. Heaven. No. And not one formal. He did get invited to a sorority. Uh, he had to wear a tie. Oh, that's nice. And they went to a club. I'm like, you went to a country club? He's like, no. A, like a club. A club. Where, yeah. Like, uns, uns, uns mm-hmm. club. <laughs> no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, Andrew's school is so tiny. It's like 2,500 kids. Oh, I love it. So it's on like 70 acres. It's really lovely. But then that's it. That's a lot of but kids, But I think though. that's – I mean – how I, big is Maryland? I mean, I went to oh, Santa Barbara. 30, it was like, I don't know, 20,000 kids. Oh, my, my college was 600 women. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-mm, <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. He hasn't met everybody yet. No. Mm-mm. They're still, he's still getting to know people. But he likes it? He's happy? Cooper? Yeah. Yeah. I think good. so. How's, how's Andrew's happy. doing? Okay, yeah. good. I mean, you know. It's, I mean, it's happy as a boy can be. I know. It's snowing. <laughs> Do you know they ha- does he have snow? Yes, they had yeah. snow. Mm-hmm. He wanted to go to snow. I don't. I don't want to live All these in snow. children that grow up in the in south. In the south, he's like, I did not want to go to school in Georgia, period. He didn't even apply to any down here. Yeah, they want to go know. be in snow. I grew up in snow, and every college I applied to was below the Mason Dixon oh. line. I was not going to go outside another day and have my Absolutely. nostrils freeze. freeze together. No. And that's why we have the upstate New York accent. How did you enjoy this past week then? Um, so cold here. It was so cold. Yeah. It was so cold. I didn't like it. I'm very excited. Yeah, it was about 72 this today. And okay, maybe. we're talking about the weather. Yeah, okay, sorry. I mean, okay, we're, I think we're done. Are we done? We don't have to worry about that. What do we want to do? In the future, global warming is going to get us. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see really Fantastic. quick. I forgot to ask you, you, Monica, what kind what of want? nerd you are. I know it's a nature nerd. Um, I know that's on there. Okay, this is going to be quick. We're going to okay. do rapid fire. Ready? Should we do a rapid fire. Okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, uh, have you ever been to a science camp, allergy camp, writing camp, space camp, math camp? No. Do you have a soldering iron? My husband does. I know, me too. <laughs> we have the same, we have the same <laughs> well, I sent my kid to all those camps, though. I write. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have a cape? No, my child does, though. Do you have a ferret? Have you ever held a ferret? No. Have you ever held a sword? No. Okay. But my kids really liked the Renaissance Festival. I feel like my kids you are have, nerds. You have nerdy, nerdy children. kids, yeah. But, I mean, I'm very nerdy in a very populist shell. Populist? I don't know. Like, kind of like typical. Like, oh. you wouldn't think that I was like, maybe you, you meet me. You're and surrounded you by think, nerds. But I love a nerd. Yeah, I think but you're I'm, a nerd, a, a, an I'm aficionado. I'm a nerd, a nerd uh, just like a, a adjacent. Do your children text Hazza to you? Have you been to the Ren Fair with them? I have been. Many Did you times. go before that? Yeah, no. Because you're from California. Yes. You're kind of a cool, like, blonde. Did you surf? Uh, I have, but have you I ever don't. ridden on a skateboard with a dog in front of you? No, <laughs> I have ridden on a beach cruiser with somebody on it, oh, sitting beach on it. Beach cruiser, so right, that Wait, what, sort of like very Santa Barbara. Oh my gosh, you're like like Malibu Barbie. <laughs> no, I'm not Malibu by many means. What's a beach um, cruiser? A beach cruiser is a it's a bike with the big oh, wheels, the big wheels without oh, yeah. the gears, oh. with the big handles. Did you okay? The, did you go to um, a bonfire at the beach with all always. the teenagers? Yes. Did you have red solo cups? Uh, probably, yeah. Did there someone say of... someone named Tyler get in a fight with someone named Brandon? <laughs> probably at Santa Barbara for sure. Were you there? Yeah. Were they fighting over you? No. Okay. Mm-mm. Your your younger sister Skipper, younger brother maybe. <laughs> but not the boys aren't fighting over him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my nerd is. I just no, love. Okay. I'm gonna tell I you. Love... What, I'm gonna okay, tell you what nerd. Going. Oh, keep going. Oh. Glad you watched my show. It's fine. <laughs> Do you have a tattoo? Nope. Have you ever brewed mead? No. Have you ever had a birthday party for a pet? No. Have you ever made a costume for a pet? No. Have you ever said this is not canon? No. Have you ever written fan fiction? No. Have you ever made your own clothes? Yes. Okay. Tell about that. Oh, tell about that? So I had a sewing machine. So I, I took home ec in high school. Mm-hmm. And so I sewed like a dress at that point. And then I got a sewing machine when I was a mom or I guess I still am a mom. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make curtains. I'm going to make all these things. And then it's just like gathering dust in the corner. Okay. Do you have fantasies about like making your own jams and jellies? No. no. How I would about like somebody gl- else to do that for me. Gluten-free crackers. No, so terrible. you're not a, you don't have Jeff a, makes his own granola. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how much you just, just look down on that. Jesus. You can't have a soldering iron and make your own granola. It's too much. I'm going to do it myself. Energy. It's 100% my husband. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he fall off the back patio? Yes, when he was trying to fix a tree. He's trying yeah. to by himself. I see the word magic there. That's my son. The, your son was doing magic. Oh, he loves magic. Yeah, did your your son's into video games, right? Video like, games. Man, so, yeah. Have you ever had to play uh, Settlers of Catan with him? No. Magic: The Gathering with him? No. Dungeon. They just leave mom alone. They well, I've played. Um, maybe I've been. No, I don't think I have played Dungeons and Dragons. We, a lot of board games. A lot of Which board ones? games with the kids. I don't even know all these weird names. And you don't even. Yeah, I don't even. Know I, they you are. probably played the ones I was talking about. Probably. <laughs> and you just I don't blocked even, it out. I don't even know. You were like, I'm just gonna get through this because we only have so many marbles <laughs> left in the jar. Of this weekends. is a marble weekend. I'm in. This I do the same. I don't. I hope my I, family doesn't hear this. But I, I, don't know. I just I fake it with them because they're like, we all want to watch. Rick and Morty and uh, I actually love Rick and Morty know, but I'm like big, big, anything to be with you boys I know. I, and sometimes I just have to be like I can't I'm not gonna play Settlers of Catan no okay have you are you set scuba certified no you're not a nerd dude I but like you, Star Wars oh, do you like Star Wars I love Star Wars have you watched all of them uh, the new ones not all of them because mm. I heard a couple of them are bad which ones I don't know. Whatever See, the name no, are. you're not a nerd. I'm not a nerd. Okay. <laughs> I did watch all the Marvel movies like in order with my son. Because your son wants you yes. to do it with mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is okay. Mm-hmm. You are nerd adjacent. <laughs> and I, we should have a, we should start actually a club for this. Yeah. Like a support club. Like, a, like we could text each other, like ask your son, um, the new episode of what's the one with the cute little gizmo guy that's uh, now Star Wars. Talking about Mandalorian. Yeah, oh, the new I episode love Mandalorian. of Mandalorian. So good. Say the new episode of Mandalorian is not canon because mm, like we'll because get why? feed. We'll have and to we'll have a out. feeder okay. person. I'll text right now. And then our sons will text back and be like, "Huzzah!" <laughs> that's <laughs> Huzzah. Huzzah. That's not Cap. No homo. I don't know the words. <laughs> I don't know the words either. Cap just means lie. That is. No oh, cap. Was, I thought it was cap, like capital, like no, top no. of the world. Like no cap, not true. Right? Top of the hat. Yeah, yeah. It's not true. It's no cap. No, they, if, well, no. if they say no cap, that means no lie. So they're just not lying. Oh, That's don't lie to me. So cap just means lie. Mid means regular or subpar. How do you know all this? <sighs> Your brain still has elasticity. Yeah, it does. we have to eat That's his brain. Well, Neuroelasticity. Well, Neuroelasticity. Well, also, that, no, uh, all, all Gen Z did was just steal a bunch of people. Bunch of slang from black people. That's all it is. Oh, oh. well, that's literally what <laughs> oh. our yeah, yeah, my generation I know, I know, did. But I'm saying, but that is yeah, interesting. That's, that's what it's all okay. Fun. Good uh, to know. And I just uh, and I just have black friends. Okay, so. good to know. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Well, brag. I have those too. <laughs> I can to brag. I can get some um some <laughs> some flashcards from them. <laughs> um, I remember like do y'all do you remember when not was a thing like. Yeah. Not. My mom still says it. Oh, mom. Mom, I love you. <laughs> Stop it. That's old. We mom, can't. Mom, <laughs> go open the ice box, mom. <laughs> we can't say that anymore. No. How long ago? That was the 80s? I don't know. I know. That's it, so long ago. All of my slang is too old, too. It's too old. That's why. And that's okay because we're all going to get Alzheimer's and our, don't we're going to stay in our house. We're going to take GABA. We're going to. And we're going to do yoga. We're going to save up money to pay for the person who's going to make sure we yep. don't wander into that's the right. street. Somebody's going to save it. Or our children. Could come back and live with us. No, I don't. Mm, uh, uh, this is what this them. is actually. This is a good takeaway. Okay. Don't wipe your own parents' butt. Have help. It could be a stranger on the street. Just I'll be like, can you, real quick, I just need a favor. <laughs> <laughs> and then you keep the love alive with your ch- like with your, your adult your, children. Yeah. That's what I was told uh, by a friend recently okay. who has um, a parent that's very old. Yeah. Oh. Joel, will you quick Google the name of what it is for um, the generation where your parents are aging and your children oh. are also needing you You're the like most the squeezed? In the middle. We're like the squeezed age or the smashed age, the, or the, um, the, the in between, the, the uh, dependent on alcohol phase <laughs> uh, and cheese dip mm, and margaritas. Mm, mm, he's still googling. Mm. Oh. It's I. It's also like also when our, our like squeeze people are or... like, oh, can you give more money to these things? So you're also getting a lot of um, oh. wanting people, people wanting donations. Yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 And they want you to volunteer. Yeah. And you're like, I don't, I just, I'm I empty. A... The most dangerous empty. thing, the most dangerous thing for um, a, a person uh, for, uh, in my position mm-hmm. 
is to go to lunch with someone who's uh, not a close friend. If they ask you out to lunch, yeah, they're going to ask out. you to volunteer for something. For something. Oh, and you're like I just can't be the head of anything. No. I my whole I, life I is in shambles. I, well, I did. <laughs> I was the head of all those things. I was the yeah. room mom. I did the heads of things. What does like don't a meet for do coffee? Anymore. The head of the school asked to meet for coffee. I'm like, I cannot right now. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ah, no, not run. coffee. Uh, I'll come to your, your office because my son's in trouble. But that's yeah, about exactly. it. <laughs> he can't find it. It's Does okay. It, I was just talking about empty nesters and then adult squeeze, orphans. Squeeze. I can't find adult it. orphans. It's like well, adult like orphans just means, you like know, the, your parents are dead now and you're, oh. they die when you're older. No, I'll find it's it. It's like a squeeze. You'll find it okay. and I'll put it in the notes. Mm, I'm going to find it while and, I'm Okay. Here. Y'all, um, are you good? I love you. I so love it's you. I know it was so nice to be able to text you, and you were reflect like, back the horror that, that I was in. I was laying really in bed. I was laying that. in bed with my son, dropping him off for his second semester, and the tears just started coming I down know. the side of my eyes. And I had liquid eyeliner on. I'm like, you, <laughs> s- you suck those back into your eyeballs right now, young lady. And I don't want to have to go fix be my cool. makeup. Be cool. Be cool. Don't be crying in front of your son. And I'm like, I just don't know what's I don't happening. Think it matters. I, I think better it's head okay out. to cry in front of them. Also, they're not going to be surprised by that. At- from no, you at all. Because I, I cry all the I time. Kind of appreciate well, it. Say, I, 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 don't, I don't know you that well, but I know Amy, and I'm sure that they're I very they, used to you being I, emotional and, and a lot. I think they appreciate it. I think, like, all the things, like, making sure that his, like, bedding was the right bedding also, and all the also, things, like, yeah. in, this, in the care and package. They all, they all appreciate and, stuff a lot later, too, because it's one of those, you know, when you, when you, when they realize all the things that they, you're not d- doing for did, them anymore, yeah. and then it's nice, but, you know. Kids gotta leave for a while until they like their parents. I yeah. think, I, I, too, having children exploded my heart open for all the work my parents did to keep oh me alive. Oh my god! Oh yeah. my gosh! Uh, the I fact was, that we've eighteen years. Eighteen years. Almost nineteen. It's a lot. It's a lot of time. Kanye West has that song, right? No, it was eighteen years. Eighteen. It's not Kanye. I think Gold it's, Digger. It's <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Gold Digger's Kanye. Oh yeah, some West or something. Okay, I don't know. I'm so, who these I'm don't, are. I'm I so don't old. Know. I'm so, so bad. Old. I don't follow any of it. I know, and we're supposed to, so that Why? we stay Why cognitively. We, we can participate in our culture. I don't know. There was a thing where they put um, these men in a room, old men in uh-huh. a room, and uh-huh. they made it 1960s again. Oh wait, I saw that. I they, read that article. Right, you read it. Yes. So they put like the 1960s yes. newspaper, yes. music, clothing, and they came back to life. Yeah. They were getting erections again. Oh. Do you remember that part? I don't remember that part. That's burned out my brain. <laughs> like, they started get like, their depression out. was gone. Yes. Their cognitive yes, functioning. I read this whole story. Increased. It was amazing. Yeah. It's just, if you, we have to, that's why. Yeah. We have to go and find out all the new language and participate in our culture so we feel connected. Oh. Yeah. You, yeah, you gotta that, get boners again. Not that we should build a 19... 19- 80s. Oh, yeah. Is that, <laughs> oh, what, is that what Cerebi is? That's what I came. That's what I took away was that we should build a we 1980s should. with disco and that will make us remember Our, and wake back up. We could do that. I, I guess, know. yeah, either participate in culture or isolate into your own culture. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit I want to just isolate with all this terrible weather. I want to hide and hibernate. Uh, well, let's put on our pajamas and go snuggle. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being on my Thanks podcast. Thanks for having me. Yay. Yay.